This is Wana Bindi and today we're gonna do the snow particle. As you can see here, it consists of two kind of particles. First of all, the snowflakes which are falling and then a little thick or less thick uh, cloud which is just um, in the background here. So let's do this one. First of all, we need to set up our two snow particles, which one is just the snowflake by itself and the other one is the snow cloud, so it appears a little bit thicker. Once we have set them up, we, just, we straight go into the snow emitter and once again, like in the last video, you have to define the X and Y position of the camera. You have to get those value with the camera get view X and get view Y. Again, we need the camera width and this time like in the other video before that with the rain particle we need to hide because we want to spawn the cloud of the of the snow cloud everywhere on the screen so we just do this again but call it height and get of course the height and not the width of the camera and here we go we have these things set up so First, we need to create our emitter, which we call um, emitter snow for the snowflake and emitter snow cloud, which is for the snow cloud. And then we just create those emitters like in the last video. If you haven't watched the, the last video of my um, rain particles, if you're having trouble with this one, just go back, I explain it a little bit more in detail. So we do uh, the region again here with those inputs that it needs and this is again not showing, now it should be showing, ah here we go, um, the particle system, the emitter we just created and here we go into the min max value and these values we already had in the last video so we go for here and with a camera camera width so i can skip on this content and again we just need y start and y start because we just go from here to here and we just need the, the y which is on top of here Again, we use um, the rectangle and we use linear distribution. So after that, we want to stream again, part emitter stream. Here again, we need the particle system, the emitter we just created and the particle type, which uh, we have here here snow just go back in here and we have everything set up almost everything and the number of snow particles for here i just used five which is still quite a lot and now we're done with the first emitter now let's go on to the second one and we just we can just copy the, these things but for now we want a little difference because now we don't we just don't start at the top we just want the whole screen to be used so we go again we don't use um x uh, y start plus the camera width but but with the camera height which should be quite logical the rest can stay the same and well we just need to change the emitter because it's not the same and we go for a different particle which is the cloud and here we go for a smaller value so we don't create so many cloud particles but let's go right into that so you understand what i'm doing basically we'll just have set up the our emitter and now it will create two kinds of particles first of all the small and second of all the cloud thing which i'm gonna go in detail what that actually is so let's start and go with the snow particle because this one is a little bit more easy to understand yeah so first of all we need to define the sprite is it the same no it's not the same okay and we just use 
this one two sprites one is a little bit brighter and one is a little bit less bright and it will create a nice effect we need a size and we just go between two values so you have bigger and smaller flakes here we could go for example only for for gravity and let it fall down but because we want to have a wiggle we use this the type speed function in order for it to have this um, little well how you could you call that viral move, movement downwards so let's go again we first of all we need the speed for the particle for here again we use this one we go with a 0.4 and a 0.6 value which are very small so it falls very 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 slowly down we don't want it to increase because no it doesn't like accelerate too much next we need the type direction so we know in which, which kind of direction we are flying of course we could have used gravity to to let it fall down so it goes down in a spiral movement we need to do that with speed and direction and here we actually use wiggle i'll just show you without the wiggle and with the wiggle and you can see like aha it's actually useful to put it in, in some kind of situation and most that it's not because it kind of looks very rough but here it's pretty normal so direction we go for straight downwards and straight downwards we don't want it to increase and here we want to have a wiggle of 50 for now we put in zero so you can see let's check it out if it already works uh, come on come on come on come on and the little dots you're seeing is the other emitter of the cloud because it ha hasn't got any input it just puts in dot and here you, the snow is falling down we can change that if you input a wiggle of 15. of course it looks a little bit better if we put in some life so it falls longer life and we go for a value here of what was it 840 and 840. so what do we need next the orientation so we can let it go uh, so so the the particle is going to be small between zero and all the possible angles which are there and we give it a wiggle as well so it moves around and last thing but not least i put in an alpha value and this one is again just a cosmetic thing but it, i think it looks a little bit better if you uh, let it go with a transparent start value of 0 0.8 going into 0 0.7 which is not a lot and then you just let it fade out it just looks a little bit nicer and cleaner um, and once you see it you will hopefully agree with that is not well you don't have to put it in there but as you can see it's falling down it wiggles quite a lot and it looks more dynamic because it has different kind of angles for every particle and you, as you can see here it fades a little bit in there it just looks better okay so let's go for the other one which is not a sprite so here we go for part type shape and we use a predefined shape which is called we can actually put that up so we can check it out and we go for our cloud where do we have it cloud 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 here we go so these are the shapes and we use this specific one because it does a specific, very specific effect which i like to create once again we go for um, a specific size which i like to increase which I would like to be between two and five. So it's quite big because they're already quite big and it needs to increase a little bit. Of course, you don't have to do that, but I think it looks a little bit more dynamic if it grows a little bit and then um, dies. Um, and we could actually already open it up so you can see what we are actually spawning here. 
Now it looks a little bit ugly, but that's the thing we are creating now. It doesn't look too bad. Once again, we want to have it uh, a random value where you have like a wiggle and um, an angle which is just randomly between all possible angles which are there. We want to go for a life, but our life is not going to be too long because if it sticks uh, around too long it will would overlap too much so we go for a value of uh, what did I put in 345 or 50 okay and we want it to blend so how do we do the blending uh, type type and we just go for additive blending and then Next is the alpha value because we don't want it to be too dominant in the room. So we go for an alpha value of 3 and here we do something that is we start with a very very small value of 0, 0 0.1 go into 0 0.5 which is 5% and then we end it again in a very very small value. So the cloud will pop up, will be almost invisible, then it will come in to 5% and then it will fade again into 1%, which is just looking much, much, much better. So let's see how this looks like. And we should be ready about now with everything. Let's see. Yep. This is the cloud. And this already looks a little bit stormy. I guess we could reduce the wiggle on the orientation because this looks a little bit very hard. Uh, let's go for, I don't know, a wiggle of two. Yep, that looks much, much, much better. And that's it. This is how you create snow. Have a good one. One up.